Good morning. Hey, I'm Cindy with survivingmommy.com and why do I why do I have these sunglasses on? Um because I thought I would uh I would do Coffee Convo Wednesday today. Welcome to Coffee Convo Wednesday. I thought we'd do it today from my daughter's play area because normally I do Coffee Convo and I feel like it's all hey, this is nice and neat and organized. Um well, that is in the kitchen, but over here it's it's mass chaos. So I thought I would show you a couple of things <laughs> over here. There's several pairs of sunglasses here. Not sure why they're over here. So several pairs of kids' sunglasses. Um, a broken wobble bubble, I think it's called. Broken. And Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. And then we have several Chewbacca's and um, the Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A dinner games. Our family's obsessed with these. I think they're all in the kids' meals right now. Love these, Chick-fil-A, thank you. A mermaid. Cotton balls. Why, why are there cotton balls in her play area? And a Lego Stormtrooper. That's just some stuff. Transformer, half-naked Ken. That's reality for you people. That's what's happening in my daughter's play area. Cheers to that. <laughs> So, I think I can make some room for my coffee. Um, welcome to Coffee Convo Wednesday. Like I said, I'm Cindy from Surviving Mommy, and this is Co Coffee Convo Wednesday. What is even happening back here? It is a hot mess, but that's reality. And I thought, what am I gonna do? Come over here and broadcast from my kids section and clean it up for you? No, that's not real. All right, on the show today, the first thing we wanna talk about is Patriot's Day the movie. Saw this last night on date night with my husband and then some of our good friends, Taylor and her husband, Glenn. And oh my goodness. Normally I don't do movie reviews because I want you to go and see the movie on your own and decide on your own because I never like to listen to anyone else. <gasps> but this movie, oh my goodness, y'all. It's so good. It's so intense. Intense? Intense. It's a new word. I was thinking gut-wrenching and intense. So intense. It's so intense and emotional and it just makes you like love how the country comes together when something tragic happens. If you don't know what Patriot's Day is about, it's about the Boston Marathon bombing that happened almost four years ago now. But oh my goodness, like ugh, crying like a baby. It's not a movie for the whole family, obviously, because it's about the bombing. And there's also a lot of cursing in it. And it's good, Mark Wahlberg, oh my goodness. Peter Berg, who I have loved since like high school, directs the movie, he's directed a bunch of movies. It's just good, it's so good, it's so quality, and it just makes you go, yeah, love prevails, love prevails, love prevails. And uh, yeah, so go see it. So there, that's my review, and if you don't like it, that's okay, but I'm just giving you my review of Patriot's, Patriot's Day, because I really, oh my goodness, I really loved it. Okay, so number two on the list. It's kind of like a reenactment of date night, date night last night with my husband. Because when we get in the car, he's usually driving. So I like to be waka, 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 or waka, 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 the DJ. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so weird today. So I thought I would do, cheers, a reenactment of what was happening in our car last night. Ready? Of course, I had to bring like props and sound effects. Ready? Girl that's been on my mind all the time. Su, 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 the other Imagine how much better this would be if I could sing. That was song number one. Busted out a little Phil Collins. <laughs> and my husband just sits there and looks at me like, what in the world is wrong with you? Because I'm such a weirdo. But he loves me anyway. And that's why I sort of love him even more because he loves me even though I'm a big fat dork. All right, so song number two, ready? Again, waka, waka, waka. I have to get my second song queued up. <clears throat> this is a little hardcore, so if you're drinking coffee, you might want to not be drinking it right now. You might spit it out at my amazing rap skills. So just, you know, take a deep breath. Are you ready? You ready? This was happening in our car last night. Oh, dang. Well, that was a bad setup. Oh, hold on. I clicked the wrong button. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sure. Oh, you could really? This. Now there's a commercial the before. On hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. That's what happens on <laughs> Coffee Combo Wednesday Live. It's a commercial. Oh, it's for season. croissants. And it looks really good. And I can't skip the ad. 
Here's a little story I've got to tell about three bad brothers you know so well. It started way back in history with Ad Rock, MCA, and me, my G. I had a little horsey named Paul Revere, just me and my horsey and a quart of beer. Okay, so that was happening last night, and my husband, <laughs> my husband just looked at me like, who am I married to? What is even happening in our car right now? I did that the entire way to our movie night, date night for Patriot's Day. Because I figured the movie was going to be really heavy. So I thought, duh, I should lighten up the mood as we go to our date night and rap and sing. So I did a little Phil Collins, because who doesn't love Phil Collins, right? And then I had to do a little Beastie Boys. I know, you were like, wow. I know Cindy does Coffee Combo Wednesdays and she's the social media chick and she likes to write blogs and, you know, all of that wonderful, fancy stuff. But I did not know she was a world-class rapper. That's right. Don't make me put on MC Hammer, because I will. So that was my reenactment of date night last night. My husband, I don't think, is watching right now, but when he watches this, he's gonna be like, really, did you really, like, rap on your coffee combo Wednesday? <laughs> yes, I did, people, because it makes me happy, and secretly, it makes you happy, husband of mine, if you're watching. All right, so that's number two on the list, um, my date night reenactment of my mad, singing and rapping skills with a slight delay for a croissant commercial. Croissant. All right. And so finally, this is good. It kind of like coincides with this like reality of a hot mess. Deflated wobble bubble or broken. I, I think it's broken. Although they tried to patch it, but I think we'll have to get a new one. And just the randomness, like there's a whole bunch of randomness. Um, it's, it's more like insanity randomness. Okay. Which leads me into my last topic here. Have you ever done this crazy voice to your kids. If you don't have kids, maybe you do it to your friends. Okay, so yesterday, I have an 11 year old and four year old, two daughters, and our, our four year old all day from sun up to sundown was a complete psychopath. I'm sorry for calling her that, but she was. She was a baby beast. When I say it was like, as soon as we woke up in the morning, <laughs> too much milk <laughs> that I'm doing sorry people don't know that I'm doing coffee combo Wednesday and they're calling so all day it's this uh, like whining all day like all morning long before school and then as soon as she got home from school I was so happy I had date night last night and poor mama Jane <laughs> I love you mom she had to watch the girls last night and it continued the whole night it was just like this insane so I get them in the shower and I've started this new thing because I don't want to scream at my kids and believe me I've done it whatever, I'm not perfect, no one is. I've screamed at them and it just doesn't make me feel good when I scream at them. And then I've tried like the really, you know, like nice, hey guys, can you just do this? Mommy really wants you to do this. And uh, yeah, that didn't work. So I tried this. <clears throat> Luna, I'm gonna need you to get in the shower. Thank you. Are you in the shower? Great. All right, let's get this done now. Let's wash our hair. Are you washing your hair? Hey, thanks, sweet girl. Let's get your hair washed and we'll put a little conditioner in and then, then we'll get out of the shower. And, and yes, we'll get in your PJs. And they're both looking at me like, who is this person? What is wrong with her? So I continue to talk in this voice like this. Very calm, cool, collected. Uh, I call it my maniacal voice, my crazy mom voice because when that starts to happen, when Luna, especially the young one, starts to get all it makes like my blood pressure <clears throat> boil and I could just feel myself getting like all crazy intense. So I've decided I am just gonna speak in that voice. Am I a good witch or a bad witch? That is great, Teresa, I am a good witch. So I've decided to speak in the crazy maniacal good witch voice. Okay, girls, let's put our PJs on and let's go into the next room and sit down and read a book. Mommy loves you. And finally, they said, will you please stop doing that voice? And I said, will you please stop acting like crazy children? And so Luna was still, Ugh. I said, if you stop, Ugh, then mommy will stop. Thank you. I'll stop talking in the crazy voice. And it worked. She stopped crying. I stopped talking in the maniacal crazy mom voice. But you know where it is? It's right here in my pocket. And I'm not afraid to pull it out because nice isn't working crazy, you know, yelling mom isn't working. There's like no weird, like they're not listening. It's like some weird, I don't know, someone just said a full moon. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's a full moon 
and the kids are just, I don't know, it was all day yesterday. Today though, the youngest Luna, she crawls into bed, snuggles, she goes, mommy, do you think Jesus likes gummy bears? <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? Uh, I think he does because gummy bears are amazing. So she's so snuggly and wonderful and then she has those moments, but that's kind of real life. You know, sometimes I'm in my kitchen and it looks like my kitchen's clean. And then sometimes I'm over here with a lipstick on and cup with mass like toys explosion everywhere. Because y'all, life isn't perfect. It's just not. And I'm not perfect and my kids aren't perfect. Okay, my mom might say her grandkids are perfect, but that's what, that's what she's supposed to say. And she should because she's an awesome grandma. And I love you if you're watching, mom. All right, so there you go. That's Coffee Convo Wednesday. And I, I might even wrap you out. Patriots Day, the movie. Go see it. It's so good. It is rated R, so don't bring the kiddos. Not for the whole family. Lots of violence. Lots of hope, though, and inspiration and just watching a city come together. And so inspiring, but heartbreaking at the same time. Bring tissues because I was like, Bleh, the whole time. Uh, so Patriots Day, great movie. Go see it. Number two, reenactment of my date night. I will end on that one because I am a rapper, singer extraordinaire in my spare time. And my husband loves me for it, I think. <laughs> and then three, have you ever done the crazy maniacal mom voice? That's what it is. I've done it. I'm not proud, but it made me feel better and it worked. So like I said, I'm gonna leave it right here in my pocket. And when I need to bring it out, I'm gonna bring it out. So what do I have for you right now? Let's put the Kicking up sand, Sheriff's possums on my tail, cause I'm in demand. One lonely beastie I be, all by myself without nobody. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for you. That's Coffee Congo Wednesday. Mwah. I love you, happy Wednesday.